All right, guys, so today we have a little bit of a different kind of video. Um, we just got in these custom Victus wood bats, so I just finished taping up our JC24 and our Tatis 23, and I thought before I taped up this awesome white barrel J-Rod show um, with this sweet white, or it's really a pearl white DSP Ultra Lizard skin, um, I figured I'd show you guys how I tape my wood bats. So before we start taping the bat, we'll go ahead and throw that down and get this thing out of the box it's in. So we'll go ahead and rip this, rip this off, throw that that way, kind of bust through here. There we go. Okay, so in case you didn't know, it does come with some instructions. So if you want to just disregard this video and follow the instructions when you buy a lizard skin, by all means, go ahead. I'll go ahead and throw those right there. But it's going to come with this saran wrap on the outside. We'll go ahead and rip this off, chunk that. <clears throat> It's gonna come with this upper part. This is what you're gonna put at the top of the grip when you're done wrapping it around the bat. So don't lose this, you're gonna need this. I'll go ahead and set that right there. And then here we go, the meat and potatoes of this video, the grip itself. So, woo, there we go, cool. So let's go ahead and get this thing, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. Let me get this going before we even touch the bat. Um, on each end, it's gonna tell you which side you should start from. So here it's gonna say finish here. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it is in there. You'll be able to see it in person when you're doing yours. It says finish here. So this part, it's not gonna come here, it's actually gonna come more towards here. So when you finish, wherever you decide to wrap and finish it, that's where the finish side is gonna come. So we're gonna go ahead and flip it to the other side. <clears throat> and here we go. So if you're a left-handed batter, this part's gonna to go towards the knob, so it's gonna come like this. Um, if you're a right-handed batter, sorry, it's gonna say right here, I'll flip it so I can show you. It says right-handed batter, um, align bat to the knob. So there's arrows pointing this way. So we're gonna start it here. So we're gonna start here. Boom, and we're gonna come this way, boom. So we want to make sure this is nice, it's on the barrel. We're going to start motioning it downwards. Make sure that's tight there. Boom there, make sure this is tight. The top part's always the, the hardest part to start with, especially with bats that are this tapered. So we're going to keep rolling, there we go. Boom. And just keep going, just keep going. Keep it nice and tight. If you want to make sure these are in there, boom. Nice and tight, and you just want to keep spiraling it down. Just keep spiraling it down. Yeah, if you want some overlap to make it a little bit thicker, you can do that. Um, I kind of do, I tend to do one or the other. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, the idea is to just keep it going in that downward direction. You don't want to show any barrel. I'm going to keep it nice and tight. Like, you, like I said, you can keep yours overlapped. I like to do mine a little bit overlapped because I like that thicker feeling. Uh, it's just a preference thing. Totally up to you. Keep it rolling. Like I said, I like this a little bit. It is a half, so it's gonna be a little bit thinner, so getting that extra thickness is also very important, at least for me. If you like that, that athletic tape feel, you can definitely space it out as best you can. Oof, almost lost that there, boom, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All the way through. And there we are, yeah. So that's where we want right there. Boom. Whew, nice. So now we have this part here. I was telling you guys earlier not to lose this part because that's going to cover up this part here and kind of just cap it off. So we're going to pull this tape right off here. If I can never get it, I have no nails. Take that there. And then wherever you want to put it, however you want, it's even got a little number slot here so you can write your number on the bat. Just pull that tight and voila. There's your grip, like I said. Up for preference, I like mine overlapped a little bit because it gives that little bit of a thicker feel to it. But yeah, guys, that is how I wrap my bats.